Hello and welcome back to another video of Circuit Digest. In this video, I'll show you how you can build a motor driver shield for Node MCU like this one. So this is just a bare minimum board. We'll have the L293D motor driver IC over here and the Node MCU board can be mounted to these female headers. And after that, we can power the Node MCU and the motors which will be connected here using a single barrel jack and we can use this button to power on or power off our entire setup. So a board like this will be very useful when you're interfacing DC motors with your Node MCU which we quite often do for our robotics project and you can easily control your Node MCU with just a single uh, DC power source which should be provided over here and that power source will power your Node MCU as well as the motors which are needed for your robots. Now since this circuit is based out of the L293D H-Bridge motor driver IC, apart from just controlling the motors, you can control any medium power DC loads like this uh, DC bulb, an electromagnet, a pump for irrigation projects as well as a solenoid lock. So it sounds interesting right? So let's see how to build this one. In this video, I'll explain the complete circuit diagram and also show you how you can connect all these components to our board over here and build a simple robot for doing some very basic movements. But before we get there, I should mention RPCB who are not only the fabricators of these shiny green boards but also the sponsors for this video. RPCB provides PCB assembly, component procurement and PCB manufacturing services. They provide industrial standard service for a very competitive price. So check them out if you have any requirements. Coming back to our project, let's start our explanation from the circuit diagram. So I'll just remove all these loads away and zoom in so that you'll have a better view. So this is the circuit diagram of our project and it is relatively very very simple. So let's start from the power section. As you can see we have our barrel jack over here which can be used to uh, connect any DC adapter or you can even use a battery. So since we are using L293D it can work from even from 7 volts and it can go up to 12 volts very easily. Now over here we have a switch which you can see here which controls the power to the complete circuitry. It is a on off switch. So even after connecting a power source say for example a battery you can easily disconnect or dearm your robot by just pressing the switch. And then moving on we have our 7805 voltage regulator. As you know our node MCU needs 5 volts on its V in pin. Whatever voltage we are getting here, it will be regulated to 5 volts using our 7805 voltage regulator which you can see over here. Then apart from that, we also have an LED through a current limiting resistor so that we know if the switch is turned on or off. So uh, the LED can be seen over here. So once we get this uh, 5 volts, we will be using this 5 volts to power the V in pin of the node MCU as you can see over here. So the node MCU itself has a voltage regulator on the board which is an AMS 1117. So this AMS 1117 regulates uh, the 5 volts to 3.3 volts to power the node MCU. That is the reason you can find a 3.3 volt pin on the node MCU. Now we have just used two female headers on both sides of the node MCU so that apart from just using the GPIO pins for L293D we can also use it to connect any other sensors say for example if you're building a line follower robot you can interface your IR sensors to these male header pins. So your board will be mounted over here and your male header pins can be used to access the GPIO pins on the node MCU. Now coming to the most important IC, the L293D H-Bridge motor driver IC, we can see that uh, the IC is powered by the voltage that we provide. So whatever voltage you give here, that will be used to power this. And we have two screw terminals over here, which you can see that can be used to interface our two DC motors. So uh, I'm just going to demonstrate this project with DC motors, but you can use any other load like a DC bulb or solenoid valve or a pump as we discussed earlier. Now the GPIO pins GPIO 12, GPIO 14, GPIO 2 and GPIO 0 are used to control the directions of the motor. So we will also write a simple program to control uh, these two test motors in forward direction, reverse direction and also make the robot turn left and right. 
So to do that, we'll be using these four GPIO pins. Again, the program and more detailed explanation can be found at the link given in the description of this video. That is it guys, the circuit is very simple, but to keep it more intact and to have a shield for all my future robotics project that uses Node MCU, I decided to fabricate a PCB for our project as you can see here. If you want to build a PCB like this, the Gerber file for this board can be found at the link given in the description of this video. Once you have a Gerber file, you can just order it from RPCB. I'll show you quickly on how you can do that. Just go to their website rpcb.com and scroll down. And then under PCB manufacturing, click on quote now. On the next page, enter your name, country, email address, phone number. And if you have any special requirements for the board, you can write it over here. In our case, there is no such special requirements. And then you can click on choose file to upload your Gerber file and then click on submit. As easy as that, your Gerber file will be sent to our PCB and they will contact you for further procedures. Once your order is placed successfully, your new PCBs will arrive at the comfort of your doorstep. As you can see, the quality of PCB is very good. The wires, the pads, everything was just perfect. All I had to do was procure the components and start assembling them. Once the board was assembled, it looks something like this. Now all we have to do is mount our L293 d motor driver IC to its respective place, like this. Then mount the node MCU to its respective place like this. And then now we can connect both our DC motors to these two screw terminals and then use this uh, DC adapter to power the whole setup. I'm going to use a lithium battery to power our setup for the demonstration of this project. So let's do that. That is it guys, this is how you can build a simple motor driver shield for our Node MCU boards and use it for all your robotics applications. Hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, have a nice day.